had two more players test positive, uh, Tyron Smith and um, Anthony Brown. More bad news delivered by Mike McCarthy yesterday announcing Tyron Smith and Anthony Brown are out tomorrow due to COVID-19 in big board sports. Pro Football Coverage, powered by Davis Law Firm. When it comes to dealing with COVID, the Cowboys are not as bad off as the Eagles who placed 12 players on the reserve COVID-19 list on Monday. A Cowboys star cornerback Trayvon Diggs is listed as questionable due to illness as a safety Donovan Wilson. Both guys tested negative for COVID-19. Now running back Tony Pollard, foot and safety Jerron Curse, hamstring also are questionable. Now there was some talk this week that linebacker Micah Parsons, who was placed on the COVID list earlier this week, might be able to go tomorrow but coach McCarthy said that's not going to happen. No, Michael will not play in the game uh, that, that's clear he, he will not make the trip to to Philadelphia and obviously you know I think you know the impact that he's he's made is is very evident uh, but you know like anything this is this is opportunities for others and you know I, I know you know our guys you know once once the 48 is declared um, you know they'll be ready to go and, and you know like anything this league it's all about opportunities and um, so, you know, we'll, we'll go to whatever direction we need to go. And the Houston Texans will host the Tennessee Titans Sunday at noon. Tennessee is playing for the number one seed in the AFC, while the Texans are playing for another chance to improve as a team. It's just another opportunity to go out there and um, get better, have a chance to perform better than we have in any other uh, week previous. So we're excited for it and we're ready to um, take on another division divisional opponent opponent that has a chance to be ranked uh, or seated pretty high in the AFC. So we're going to try to go out there and do our best to stop them. This week, we caught up with quarterbacks Cannon Williams and Lucas Coley while they are training with QB coach Yale Vinoy. Cannon comes from Harlan High School and currently plays for Incarnate Word. Cardinals quarterback Cameron Ward has entered the transfer portal and head coach Eric Morris left to become offensive coordinator at Washington State. So. G.J. Kinney was named the Cards head coach, and the redshirt Cannon hopes to become his starting quarterback. My quarterback coach this year, Coach Leftwich, um, he was going up to Washington State with Coach Morris, but he decided to come back and stay as the offensive coordinator. So I'm keeping my offensive coordinator, but with a new head coach, you know, it's like a, a fresh start. You know, practice, practice is going to be different every day, the schedule different, you know. Um, it's, it's, it's really a blank slate for me. Lucas played his senior season at Cornerstone Christian before leaving for the Arkansas Razorbacks. He decided to redshirt his freshman campaign and make some money via the name, image, and likeness rights. NIL has offered you know a bunch of blessings to college athletes all over the world. People with like big platforms on social media and be able to profit off of them. And for for me personally, you know, my best one right now is JJ's Grill. It's a it's a restaurant down there in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and. You know, they're taking care of me, I'm taking care of them, and that's a family up there. And that's it for sports, guys. All right, Larry, thank you very much. And we want to bring you an update. Um, Lena Keel, the little girl who's been missing since December 20th. There was an Amber Alert that was issued, but we'd just been notified by the Texas Department of Public Safety that uh, it is now discontinued. Don't know why they discontinued it, but they just uh, they just let us know that it has been discontinued. So. All right, we'll try to have some more details for you later in our newscast or on KSA 12 News at 5 tonight. In the meantime, let's get downtown. Mike and Fiona, I'm sure they got something exciting. Uh, is that something warm today? Oh, yes. Food, <laughs> food, and more Glorious food. Glorious food. It's a foodie Friday. Yes, indeed. And Leticia Cantu from El Pollo King is here. And what is Fiona making in that pan right there? Fiona is making the Vivia Quesadillas, our world famous quesadillas. One of the great dishes there. And it's the pandemic and y'all are hurting, right? You need people to come in and eat this good food. Yes, it's been really rough these last couple of months and, and we need your help, San Antonio. We need folks to come in and, and help us out. Um, the last thing that small businesses wanna do is have to close down um, because of this pandemic. Well, look at all that you can try right there. That'll give you a full belly. Speaking of full belly, we're gonna be checking in with Jen a little bit later on about getting a full belly. Oh yes, they call themselves the premier breakfast and brunch spot in the city, and she will dive into that. Okay, hey, you like waffles, you like chicken? What the waffle, I tell ya. Boy, we are gonna be eating some really good waffles <laughs> out there, and it's waffles on a stick. Look at that, with a little bit of chicken mixed in there. And their about, kids help them come up with some of these recipes with the waffles, so yeah. it's gonna get crazy. It's, uh, they've got <laughs> crazy one- Crazy good. Yeah, real good flavors. All that and a lot more on this Friday. Stick around.
All right, well, we've warmed up, warmed up in quotes to uh, 41. We'll be up around 45 this afternoon, a chilly, cloudy day, jackets all day long. Temperatures may actually rise a little bit tonight. We'll try to get into the 60s tomorrow. Still lots of clouds, though. It could be a little bit damp early, some fog and drizzle possible. A few showers, too. Clearing out some on Sunday with a cold front breezy, turning cooler yet again early next week, and maybe some rain chances down the line on Thursday. Guys. Like those rain chances. Thank you. A food Friday. That was a lot of food. I don't think Mike can eat all that. Food frenzy Friday. Oh, I forgot the frenzy part. That's why there's so something much like food. that. A fantastic food frenzy. That'll work. Can we throw another one in there? Keep going. <laughs> As a live starts right now. Hey, don't miss out on this opportunity to try this chicken. A local restaurant really needs your help so their doors don't close. And I'll tell you what, we may find out what some of the secret marinated ingredients are. And you want to relax at home, how to create your own spa experience on Happy Space Friday. Woo! Well, it is a fun, interactive, artsy experience that will make a great date night. We're going to show you where. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, ho, yep, ho, bring ho. that in for a landing yep. here. Oh, notice how it's shaped. Wow, talk it about knowing shaped. the weight of my heart. Yes. There's a lot of love in that food <laughs> and a lot of good flavor. Hello, and yes, it is a happy Friday when we have all of this good food on here. Of course, you know, we are all about celebrating local businesses and one local gym really needs your help. You know, they opened during the pandemic and business um, not to beat around the bush has been really tough lately. So if they don't get more customers soon, um, things are not looking very good. Yeah, so Leticia Cantu from El Pollo King is here to show us what makes their food so great and of course how they can convince you to come grab some of their amazing chicken. And it smells amazing we've sampled some of it it is so delicious Leticia. it is thank you thank mm -hmm. you guys for having us this has been a really really tough time for us um, for us it's very special because we are born and raised here in san antonio we're from the west side of san antonio as well so we know exactly what our folks want and so what we brought with el pollo king is we brought authentic mexican restaurant uh, our family's from monterrey mexico mm -hmm. and it's estilo mexico um, and right now what you have is the el pollo asado it's all right, this is the chicken. You cooked it spatchcock, and you also have very secret ingredients in this thing, right? We do. It is marinated overnight, and we do have the very special ingredient. We, we do have some fresh fruit that goes into the marinade. Okay. And that is, and the and secret that, and that's, sauce. That's as much of the secret as you're mm -hmm. going to give yes. away, right? <laughs> that's as much as we're going to give away. <laughs> and we also have a very special spice in there okay. um, that we, we, we put into the marinade. Well, I'll tell you what, it all comes out, and, and I don't know what the secret is, but boy, it is some really, really good chicken. Is this one whole serving? A it whole is, chicken? It is what we call pollo entero. Okay. So it is a thing. whole chicken, <laughs> which has eight pieces. Uh, we also have the half a chicken, which we call the medio pollo, and it is four pieces. Four pieces. And we, of course, serve it with rice and beans, uh, grilled onion, or jalapeno, and the world famous limes that go on top of the chicken. All okay. right. And, and so nice while he's piling yeah. that up, what do we have right there? Because that's what. We have mm -hmm. the papa asada which is a potato. We put some butter on top and then we smother it with white cheese, carne asada, and yellow cheese, and then cilantro on top. And we put our chips that we make, um, that we make there at the restaurant right around it so you can have a good old papa asada. All right, so you all wanted to be, of course, a one-stop shop for Mexican street food, right? What else do you have? Mm. Mm, yes, mm, that's, sorry, that's a double me. thumbs up for Mike over there. <laughs> well, we have, the, we have what we call the mini tacos. This one in particular is um, the I Love You So Much tacos. <laughs> and it's a, it's a, a 12 tacos, a mini street tacos with asada and cilantro cebolla. And of course, your lime to put on top. And we also have the mango salsa. We have the mango salsa that we add to all our dishes, mm -hmm. um, and it's a very secret mango salsa that we put together with our green, we also have the green salsa, um, and we add that to all our dishes. Okay. 
So y'all opened up during the pandemic. How yeah. was business there for a while? Um, you know, it, it, it actually did pretty well. We were doing well. I think when everyone was receiving assistance and the stimulus, um, mm -hmm. it, it was going great. And we did really well uh, since the last couple of months with the holidays and also with this, you know, the surge that we are seeing right now. It's been really tough. But you've also us. had some really familiar faces and some famous faces down there too, right? We have. We have. So our theme is a boxing theme and uh, we've had uh, a lot of folks um, Ricardo Chavira our world famous actor from San Antonio um, and our sheriff who's done a phenomenal job here in Bear County um, have gone to El Pollo King the sheriff goes at least once a month with all his chiefs and Ricardo takes a lot of his uh, his uh, meetings there at El Pollo King but we actually interviewed him um, when he was going to do the premiere for the Selena series with Netflix uh -huh. with special guest Selena's husband, Chris Pettis. Okay, if, if Javier likes it yeah. and wherever the first responders <laughs> eat, those are always the best restaurants in town. So that right there is a good reason to eat here. And this chicken is delicious. So don't mind if I Thank do. you. And you have deals for first responders, right? We do. We're giving away 10% to all our first responders. We appreciate all the hard work that they do. They put their lives on the line for our community. And so we want to give back to them, make sure that they're fed. Um, we give them 10% and of course the essential workers of Bear County. And from where we are right now, Mark, you're just kind of a stone's throw right off downtown, But you right? said kind of hidden, right? <laughs> we, we're right down the street where UTSA is, UTSA and Frio and El Paso, but it is a little hidden. It's not uh, right off the main street. And so I think that kind of has, has been an, a small issue for us, but you know, we want to get the word out and invite everyone. We're ready to serve them. Dine in with all the, the restrictions and everything like that, but also curbside, um, you do all the delivery services and everything like that, right? We do. We do our curbside. We also do online order, and you can call in your order, and we'll, you don't even have to get out of your vehicle. We will take it outside for you. Okay. All this right. is really good chicken. Yes. Good so, chicken. <laughs> so don't forget, El Pollo King needs your help, San Antonio. If business doesn't pick up, they might have to close their doors for good, and we don't want that. You can stop by their location at 527 El Paso Street. That's just west of downtown. And like we said, you can get it delivered, all the delivery services, and first responders get 10% off every day. If Sheriff Javier Salazar likes it, you know it's got to be good. For more information on El Pollo King, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Let's see, thank, thank you, you very, so much. very thank much. Thank you, thank you. All right, well, of course, we are all about the food today, and every Friday this month, we want you to know, uh, we want to know what food would you like to see more of on SA Live, or do you have a go-to foodie spot, you know, that you haven't seen on the show? Yeah, one of those little, you know, those hidden gems, like, like El, El Pollo. Pollo. King. <laughs> that we need to know about and need to feature right here because it's all about helping out all those great local businesses and restaurants. So put your post your requests on Facebook and Twitter and tag us at SA Live KSAT and you might see the answers a little bit later on in the show and perhaps mm -hmm. on a Friday coming up later on this month. Well, Friday is all about looking ahead into the weekend and we're kicking off a new segment about all the fun kind of weekend adventures you and your family uh, or maybe just you and your significant other can have around the Alamo City. Yep, and this is one that you uh, mm -hmm. decided to tackle here. Our first Friday is a one-of-a-kind interactive experience that allows you to step into and be a part of incredible art exhibits. Well, I am about to go down the rabbit hole. And if you're looking for a really cool date night, look no further and hop right on over here to Hopscotch in downtown, right across from Travis Park. It is a fun, interactive, artsy experience. All right, cheers, let's go. Whoa, oh my gosh, this room is incredible, you guys. And general manager John Davis of Hopscotch joins me. Where am I, John? Hey, yeah, actually, uh, welcome to Hopscotch. So we are downstairs in our art gallery. Right now we are sitting in the room of Brooklyn-based artist Basia. So this is her room, Rainbow Cave. Um, this is one of our most popular exhibits. In fact, I think we've had at least a dozen marriage proposals in here, so very exciting. Um, what you're seeing are actually 40,000 plastic bags I in here. I thought so. It is a little bit sobering because that is what Texas uses every two and a half minutes, but again, utilizing art to really kind of bring things to life and you know just spread the word on different items um, and you'll see a lot of that throughout hopscotch 
And speaking of seeing a lot throughout hopscotch, tell folks a little bit about it, because this is just one example, right? Yeah, absolutely. So again, welcome. Um, so we're right across the street from Travis Park. Um, we are in 20,000 square feet, uh, and we have 14 different art exhibits. So each exhibit is kind of intended to be interacted with in some way. So um, starting right as you come down the rabbit hole, as we call it, you will see a Dallas-based artist with this phenomenal um, uh, drawing all ag along the wall, and you'll see our LED ball pit. So it's a adult size LED ball pit. There are 20,000 different objects in there that you can jump in and have a good time. Great for pictures. Um, we've had our own proposals and wedding photos there as well. Uh, we've got digital based uh, art exhibits. We've got things that are really intended to kind of spark creativity, get you asking questions and really just kind of celebrating. So you're open during the day, but this is a great date night place too, Absolutely. right? Yeah, so right now we are open 12 to 10 um, most days, except for Saturday. So Saturday we're from 11 to 11. Uh, we were uh, named San Antonio's best date night last year. We're in the running again for it this year. Um, but yeah, you're right. After 7 p.m. we do become um, that date night scene. So we've got a full lounge upstairs uh, that features some great craft cocktails. We have a phenomenal um, bar concept up there. Every Sunday we have a great salsa band out there, great cocktails that go along with that. Um, at least once a month we throw a Thursdays party, so that is just a great thing where we'll have drag performances out uh, either on the patio or in the lounge or even in the gallery. Once a month we'll also do uh, yoga in one of our rooms that has uh, all of our murals. It's a really great room. And speaking of space, this used to be the old Jefferson Bank? Yeah, in fact one of our exhibits is actually in what used to be the bank vault. So we've got this 4,000 pound door that is pried open. Um, and it's just one of those little things that, you know, kind of just kind of aids in the experience and really kind of it sets us apart from so many things. Tell folks how they can find you on yeah, social. Definitely. So at Let's Hopscotch. So find us on Instagram. Um, that is also our website. So our website is where you can purchase tickets. You can do that online. You can do that in person as well here. Um, but Let's Hopscotch.com. All right. And how much are tickets? Tickets $24 to start. Um, our, our children do go for $15. And uh, yeah, we also do all sorts of, like I said, theme nights and, you know, different discounts and stuff. There's always something Military discounts, yeah, things like that. Exactly, okay. exactly. All right, for more information on Hopscotch, all you got to do is head to our website, salive.com, where we've provided a link to theirs. Cheers. Well, Mark, cool. yes, right? Yeah. It's, a, it's a really cool place to go. You know, during the day, you can go, of course, you know, with your family or, or you know, your friends. But at night, it's a great date night spot. So. And even the thing about the plastic bags, mm -hmm. which is an interesting way it's to such to, a beautiful to, to, space, yeah. you yeah. know, using 40,000, you know, plastic bags. Wow. So mark your calendars because Hopscotch will reopen next Thursday, January 13th. And of course, for more information, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, SA Live is launching more exciting things in 2022. In four weeks, we start spinning the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel. We're bringing the prize wheel back. KSAT Insiders have a chance to win one of six prizes that total nearly $5,000, including a staycation at the Thompson Hotel or a knee day at the spa. Of course, you have to be a KSAT Insider to enter, and anyone can sign up for free on our website, ksat.com. Once you're enrolled, you can sign up for the prize wheel. Good luck, everybody. Okay, still ahead on SA Live, they are transforming traditional chicken and waffles. Why people are falling in love with these crazy, delicious creations. But first, they call themselves the premier breakfast and lunch spot in San Antonio. How this local restaurant is stepping up the brunch game in town. We'll show you their incredible menu next on SA Live. Oh, this is so relaxing. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, every Friday in the month of January, we will feature a food spot here in town that you've never seen before on the show. And today, our Jen Tobias Trusky is taking us to a place that calls itself the premier breakfast and brunch spot in the city. Jen, where are you on this foodie Friday? We are at Full Belly Cafe. Now, that's located near Stone Oak Parkway, near 281 off 1604 area. And let me tell you, this looks amazing. I am joined by James Moore, the owner, executive chef, Gare. James, thanks Hi. for having me. 
great to have you here. Thank you. I've been missing yeah. out, right? I mean, yeah. this is over the top deliciousness. Yeah, it's and on right now. <laughs> I'm so excited. So we're starting with this beauty right here. Tell me what this so is. So this is one of our most popular dishes here, and I need your help finishing okay. it if you don't mind. I got you. So this is our pecan pie French toast. We do all of the bread in-house. So we make this bread here, mm -hmm. put it in a custard, sear it off. So that now we've got a little bourbon caramel sauce here Just that nice you can drizzle. Oh. Oh, uh, you're a natural. Clearly, you've done this before, <laughs> expert level. It's amazing. Yep. Okay. And then we've got, um, how about some whipped cream over the yes. top of it as well? Okay. Um, yep. All these all these lovely components coming together. As much mm -hmm. cream as you're feeling like. What, I, I whatever love, looks good. I, love I, the I trust cream. Your, uh, Let's do three. This is your palate right now. <laughs> and then some candied pecans to top it My off here. Goodness. Oh, Just yeah. Go all out here. And then we'll finish it with a little powdered sugar when we serve it for the guests. Yep. And bam, right there. All right, I'm gonna take a little bite here. Don't sure. mind me. And while I do yeah. that, it's, let's talk about what you have going on. Okay, there. sure. Uh, this is uh, called Nacho Mama's Breakfast Sandwich. So I'm gonna slide a sunny side egg up on it here. Uh oh. So what we've got here is we make our own buns in-house as well. As I said, we do all of the bread and doughs in-house. In a homemade maple and fennel sausage, a little cheese, a sunny side egg, and then some romesco on top. And then we fire that lid right on the top. And you know, when, what's when, the sauce on when, the bun? It's, Tell me it's about It's called that. a romesco, which is kind of like a Spanish condiment that consists of roasted peppers, uh, some nuts, olive oil, garlic. <laughs> And then we're, we get the oozy egg yolk, the, the yolk corn coming out. We serve it with our homemade uh, homemade hot sauce, a little ketchup for the potatoes, some pickles. And let's see here, moving around the table yes, right yes, now. Yes, we have more to show you This is just guys. a little platter. Again, uh, we got some sticky toffee pudding, homemade cinnamon rolls. These are our signature dessert right here. These are belly puffs, um, which is think like a sugared puff pastry dough that we fill. Um, um, a decadent chocolate cake and uh, uh, excuse me, a uh, coffee cake right here. Sliding around, we've got an apple crumb pancakes with sautéed apples and apple spice butter. And around the horn, we've got um, a French onion grilled cheese and an eggs benedict with a red eye gravy and pulled pork. So not only do we do breakfast, we do lunch, we do brunch. If you need uh, if you need a burger at eight in the morning, because who doesn't? This is the place to come. If you need French toast at three o'clock in the afternoon, we've got that too. We serve the whole menu all day long. Got it. Yeah. So for for people watching who may want to come check it out, the hours. What are your hours? Uh, we open seven days a week at eight a.m. Mm -hmm. We close at three during the week and at four on the weekends. Got it. Okay. And is it yeah. good to make a reservation? It helps to make okay. reservations because as you can see we're not a huge space we do have a patio outside mm -hmm. so when the weather's nicer it helps but we certainly accept walk-ins too okay yeah. so walk-ins reservations if you'd like and i tell you what this is so good i'm gonna get one more bike can you tell people where you're located one more time uh we are located on the north side of 1604 mm -hmm. access road in between stone oak parkway and blanco if you All can right. find the trader joe's there you can find us yep all right, and when we come back in the second half of the show, we're going to do some drinks, uh, some coffee, maybe some cocktails, all that and more coming up. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Back to you guys. All right, still ahead on the show, it's the end of our first week of 2022, and I'm sure we could all use a spa day, how you can transform your home into the ultimate relaxation zone. And next, this winter, of course, has been a great example of temperature swings that we have here in Texas and how this wild weather could affect your home and how one local comp company can help. That's straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, living here in South Texas, we know how fast the weather can change. Just step outside today. Temperatures drop in the span of just a couple of hours as they did overnight and then rise again, you know, and we can get into kind of a freeze and thaw cycle. Here to tell us about the lasting effects these cycles can have on the concrete around your home is Jade Owens, who is Director of Operations with Baird Foundation Repair. Good afternoon. Welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, a lot of areas went from very warm temperatures yesterday down to freezing, maybe not a long freeze, but that can, can have an impact on the concrete around your house, right? Yes, definitely. So 
what we're experiencing right now has huge impacts on concrete whenever you have these drastic temperature changes and also adding in some moisture. Um, what we're seeing is concrete has its porous and so whenever um, it thaws or it freezes at night, moisture gets trapped in there, it expands, and then during the day when the sun comes out, it starts to thaw out. And so it's this constant kind of expanding, contracting cycle that's happening. So what you'll start to see on your concrete is hairline cracks. Um, you'll also start to see pitting, flaking, and then over time even the soil weakening underneath that concrete. So moisture gets in there, starts to wash it out. So that's when you'll really start to see the damage happen and you'll see tripping hazards and over time it just kind of wrecks havoc and on just those concrete. little i mean it's just little bits that add up and add up and add up so exactly. what are some of the preventive measures that people can you know if they're worried about long-term care that right. they can take yeah so there's actually a lot of options you have the first and most basic is just check your drainage mm -hmm. make sure that you have water going away from your concrete um, but also give a company like Baird a call because we actually offer a concrete protection system that will not only repair your concrete if you've kind of let it linger too long, but prevent future damage. So this could be applied to like brand new concrete to keep that from ever happening to your concrete. So how does it how does that actually work? Like a sealer or something on there? Yes. Yeah, so um, we have a full three part system. So it starts out with our polyurethane foam and that gets injected into the concrete. So that's what's going to strengthen that weak soil underneath it. Um, it can stabilize it, but it can also lift your driveways, sidewalks, things like that. And then we go in and do a joint sealant. And so if there's any cracks in your joints, or if you have cracks in your concrete, we can um, seal those joints and that'll prevent any further moisture from sinking mm -hmm. into that concrete. And then the last part is our sealant. And so that is really a repellent for your concrete. So as you have that moisture come in, it just repels it off. So it's not going to cause that long-term damage. So it's three really great products um, that'll improve the life of your concrete over okay, time. So it is one of those, the classic ounce of prevention to prevent longer term damage. Exactly, right. And new concrete or old concrete? Yeah, Doesn't we, matter. Yeah, we can do both. So old concrete, sometimes that requires more of the repair component. Mm -hmm. But, you know, brand new concrete, we can go in and seal it and really, you know, hopefully give you some peace of mind for these things that we're talking about. And you got a special going on too, right? Yes, we do. So mention you saw us on SA Live today and we'll give you $50 off your proposal. Okay. And like she just said, uh, mention SA Live to get an additional $50 off your project plus a free inspection. The number is 210-53-BAIRD. That's 210-532-2473. You can also ask about financing options and same day savings. And for more information, visit GoBairDGo.com. Jade, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Have this a great weekend. Great. You too. All right, so how did I say live? If you thought pecan pie French toast was amazing, see what Jen is whipping up at this popular brunch destination. Oh, that looks good. And next, have you ever seen chicken and waffles like this? We're learning a little. Welcome back to SA Live. It's Foodie Friday. Our next guest says they have the best chicken and waffles you will ever taste. In fact, it'll make your tongue slap your face. Okay. That's how good. <laughs> That's how good it is. Williams applauding his own waffles, rightly so, too. In Clay Brown and Gregory Jones, owners of What the Waffle, is here to show us these amazing creations. Gentlemen, welcome. 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 How are you? Okay, where'd you get the name, the What the Waffle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So being in the military for 10 years, Army myself, 10 years, Greg, also in the Navy, you know, we travel all the way around and we're always on the go. So always being on the go, we're saying, hey, what, what about if we came up with something where it's pretty innovative, where we can carry and eat and go on the go? And so while we were eating one day at home on Sunday, one of our friends was over and he tried some of the waffles that Greg made. And he said, what the? And we said, whoa, 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 we don't curse in this house. <laughs> and so at that time, that's where the name came up. And since then, we've been going forward. So oh, I right. love it. Well, Thank you both for your service, too. I'm going to make a couple of All these right, right so, here in this waffle iron. Yeah, so, so yes. Mike is going to get that going right. over there. And this is these are just some of the recipes, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. right here in front of you, we have our cookie monster. Mm -hmm. We have our shake and bacon. We also have our party pop. And then we also have a couple of other options there as well. There's a blueberry infusion one over there also. Oh, I see it. And we actually have 12 to 15 different flavors and seasonal flavors that we offer as well. All right, so what, what do I do here? I'm just gonna grab one of these, yes. right? Yes, so you're gonna go in and grab a waffle. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna put the wax paper inside mm -hmm. of the boat. Okay. Perfect. And which one are you gonna make today? Oh, 
Uh, you have options. Okay, uh, I'll do I'll do this one. Okay, okay, so we're gonna do the Cookie Monster. Okay. All right, so okay. Actually, and I'm making a Cookie Monster, monster and I'm making a plain one in here. So okay, they're they're nice. cooking. So should yeah. I wait for a warm so, one? So you're gonna go on and drink. Taste it. Taste that. Is that the blueberry? Is that the blueberry? That is the blueberry infusion. Now these are absolutely crazy creations, and the recipes come from where? Yes. So they're all proprietary. I can't tell you exactly what the recipes are. But the chicken actually has 12 to 15 different herbs and spices in so it. So you've topped the kernel. Absolutely. With the okay. Absolutely. The kernel and I we're best friends. We go to lunch and we're <laughs> we're golfing buddies. So absolutely. <laughs> and so yep. who comes up with the ideas for the waffles over here? I'll be my best friend of 15 years, Greg. He is the mastermind. He is the creative mind. So. But you said you're. Kids Intel, also had right? a big influence in that. Yes, so when we went to our kids, we asked them, we said, hey, what would you like? And so they started throwing out options and we said, you know the what? Official the official taste testers. The official taste testers. You don't have to wait until your dinner. You can have your dinner and your lunch all at the same, same time. time. Yes. And what goes better with waffles and chicken? Right. Okay. So you have a food truck, right? Yes, so we have a food truck. We're actually located at 110 North Main in Cibolo. And it's right there uh, located at Old Main Ice House. And then we also have a food truck that bounces around to the military installations, Fort Sam, Lackland, and some of the other locations here in San Antonio. Why is it that a waffle on a stick? Okay, so I think it's because there's so much crunch around it. Yes. That's, that I think is one of the secrets here with all the, you know, the, it's nice and tender to. on the inside. And it's, yeah, try that. That's really oh good. My oh my gosh. gosh. And what goes best with waffles? Speed up. Mm. Chicken, chicken and waffles. Mm -hmm. And the chicken is actually flavored all the way to the bone. Mm -hmm. So it's crispy How do you do on that? the outside, juicy on the inside, and it'll change your life again. Best chicken and waffles oh, you ever taste. It'll, it'll here, here comes, oh, should I get a, should I get a hot one instead? These here, are hot. Okay. Very, very like hot. Like hot, hot, oh, hot, hot. Okay. Might want to let it cool, cool, cool for a second. Oh, I'll give it a shot oh. here. Absolutely. Mm. And so for different holidays, you know, we make our St. Patty's Day waffle, our Valentine's Day waffle, our birthday cake waffles, anniversary waffles, you name it. We come up with different pumpkin spice waffles. Mm. We come up with different concepts for the different times of the year. And if oh, folks... If folks come celebrate with you this weekend, what's going on and what kind of deal can they yes, get? Yes, so these are actually some of our sauces oh, as well oh. to be able to use. Kicking bourbon, barbecue. We have a bunch of different ones to be able to Kickin offer. Kicking bourbon? Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm on it. Four okay. year anniversary this so Sunday, right? We're toddlers this Sunday. Four yeah. year anniversary. We're officially toddlers now. So definitely come out and celebrate us. It's our anniversary. And if you come out and tell us happy birthday or happy anniversary, then we're going to give you a good discount this upcoming weekend, Friday through Sunday. Do I have to wait all the way to the end or can I take these off early? I know, I'm, it's I'm... tempting, it's very tempting, I know. And you all can't smell it on the camera, but it's very aromatic. Oh. You can smell it all oh, the way down. Oh, it smells amazing. Okay, good enough, here we go. Yeah. No, nope, it's no, not done no, yet. No, it's not done Darn. yet. I'll get that in the commercial. And the sauce is for the chicken. And but hey, hey, go get crazy. You can go in and put on the waffles too. Go ahead. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Have what at it. the waffle? That is it. And for more information, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Delicious. And once again, gentlemen, thank you for your service. Appreciate thank you. that. Thank you so much. All right, next on the show, it's the most important meal of the weekend. See what else Jen is getting excited about at this popular brunch spot. Ooh, yes indeed, it is a foodie Friday. Doesn't that look delicious? Earlier you saw some of the amazing food at Full Belly, a really popular brunch spot here in town. And the feast continues with a very important part of the brunch, right Jen? Yes, the drinks, right? Whether it's a mimosa or maybe a fun coffee cocktail. Oh, yeah. Right, James? Okay, so we are all about the drinks now here at Full Belly Cafe. James, what is this one? Tell me about it. Okay, so what we're calling this is the Dude Abides. This is an homage to the Dude to the Big Lebowski. So it's a coffee drink that also has a coffee spirit, um, a coffee liqueur, and um, some rum in it, too. And then a little bit of, a little bit of uh, milk. Uh, foamed on the top, and then as you're so uh, delicately and expertly doing, <laughs> we grate a little bit of chocolate and a little bit of espresso bean. Ooh, over let's see it. if I can get that bean. So the great thing is oh, when you're when you're oh. ready for a bevy uh, at at lunch or breakfast or lunch, this has got you covered. And you need some caffeine, bam, Boom. just like that. Best of both worlds. That's, that looks incredible. Oh, thanks. <laughs> 
I have I have an opportunity here if, <laughs> if the whole TV thing doesn't work out. <laughs> All right. All right. What do you have here? And then this is another fun drink that we have, and we call this one a putting on the spritz. And this is a, a version of kind of like an Aperol spritz. The, it's got Aperol, um, a little bit of lemon juice, and then we garnish it with some champagne right over the top. Ooh. And then we'll float in some fresh fruit at the end because that's what makes it healthy. So this is actually <laughs> good for you. There here. you go. Yeah. With the fruit. Um, it's such then, a pretty drink, yeah, right? Usually. And so wow. it may be chilly today, but it's not not usually cold in San Antonio anymore. So these are really nice on an afternoon and a warm day. Yep. Um, we do have a full cocktail program. Mm -hmm. So we've got an old fashioned, mm -hmm. as you said, uh, mimosas, Bloody Marys, and then we have a handful of other signature drinks that are a lot of fun and hit the spot while you're here enjoying the food. And you mentioned, uh, you know, the weather, so you have an outdoor space we too, do. right? Yep, we do, yep, we have a patio right outside. Um, that holds about 50 people out there. It's covered, uh, we have fans out there. Um, we don't have heaters. Uh, we actually have three heaters out there right now. Today seems like a little chilly, but um, yeah, there's inside, there's outside, um, whatever you're feeling like. And if you missed us in the first half of SA Live, here's, here's some more food for you to look at. It's just so beautiful. I can't wait to, uh, to try this so one much. right here. Tell us again what we have here. So this is an Eggs Benedict that we do. This is pulled shredded pork belly um, with some poached eggs, a red-eye gravy, and a hollandaise. These are some apple apple crumb pancakes with a spiced apple butter, sauteed um, apples, French onion grilled cheese with house-made chips and a little French onion soup on the side. All right, and there's so much more. This is just a sample of the menu, so you have to come out and try it for yourself. James, likely to see him here. He can recommend anything That's that right. you're possibly craving, or maybe you don't even know you're craving it, but again, they're located near 281, 1604 area, kind of by, by Stone Oak. So, James, thank you. I'm taking My this. My pleasure, yes. I please do. Now, back to you guys. Yep. Oh, that looks delicious. Hey, next on SA Live, the weekend is for relaxation. We're showing you how to create the perfect spa getaway right in your own home in a brand new happy space. Hey, Monday on SA Live, it started with cinnamon rolls and has become a must-try stop for breakfast on the go. We're getting a taste of the one-of-a-kind food truck filling up locals on their way to work. Oh, that looks good. Plus, the other part of a perfect breakfast, the pick-me-up. Java Jen is checking out a coffee truck helping people rise and shine. It's all about starting your day and week right, and that is Monday at 1 right here on SA Live. We're eating food today and talking about more food mm -hmm. coming up here. Hey, here's something new for 2022. Our Happy Space segments have a new home right here on Fridays. They include local designers and experts ready to bring more joy to your home, yard, or patio. Today, we're learning how to bring the spa home with some simple tips. Here's Jen Tobias Strusky with this Happy Space. Do you want to bring those vacation vibes into your home? It can be done. On today's Happy Space, we visit with interior designer Cami Malaga, and she's going to share how you can bring the spa into your home. My name is Cami Malaga. I'm the principal designer and owner at CM Interiors, and I've been interior decorating and designing for about five years now. I'd love for you to check out my style, my work, at cm.interiors on Instagram, or you can visit my website at camimalagainteriors.com. And here we are in Cami's beautiful bathroom. Thank you for having us. It's so cozy in here. Thank you for being here. So I'm really excited about bringing the spa home and you have some great ideas for our viewers today on how they can make it feel more like a spa in their own home. It sounds amazing. So what are we starting with, Cami? All right, well, nothing shouts spa like fresh, fluffy white towels. And um, these occasionally will go on sale actually annually at Costco for under $5. So what I do is buy three or four and replace the, the old ones and um, yeah, stock up on these. Let me, I have to feel that. Oh yeah. yeah. Isn't that great? Very soft. Yes. And very Costco. absorbent. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very nice. And yeah. what is it about the white color would you say? That you know, it's just, it's clean and it's simple and it's fresh and it's, uh, it, it just, it's peaceful really. Yes. Which is what we're going. Yeah, exactly. I love how these are displayed. This is part of also, right, making it feel more like a spa. Absolutely. Take some glass jars, canisters, whatever you have. I got these at, at Home Goods for less than $10. Uh, these are things that we use every day, really. So uh, 
um, keep them out. Keep them out, and, and I like it's not like toothpaste. It's red or blue. Yes. It's clean and it's white, and it it says spa. Again, we're so. consistent with the clean and white that we have going. Yes, here. absolutely. And you can't have that spa vibe without the robes, right? No, you sure can't. <laughs> Never been to a spa without a robe before. So I've got this robe, and it's it's so plush and comfortable, and it's just so luxurious to get in after a shower or a bath. Um, I change it out seasonally, so when it's warmer, I have a little bit of a shorter one and, and less heavy, but I love it. I love how easy it is, too, to access here with your shower. Yes, <laughs> right? Right Very out of nice. the shower. That's right. Very nice. <laughs> and, and the rug and also the artwork is something to keep in mind as well. Yes, it is. It, it, you know, it's unexpected. You wouldn't find a, a nice a rug that you would see maybe downstairs or in a more populated area, a living room or something. Um, but bring it into a bathroom, especially when you've got mostly neutral colors. It's fun to add some color and some artwork that you wouldn't expect to see also in a bathroom. I can't help but notice this gorgeous shower oh, behind you. you. Yes. Um, and let's talk about what you have going there to make it feel more like a spa. Okay, okay. Fresh greens, eucalyptus. You turn that hot water on and that eucalyptus just starts to smell beautifully. And, um, and you can and it just looks hang pretty. it like that? Yes, absolutely. I got these local, just at a florist, and wrap some twine around there, hang it from your shower head, and call it good. It looks beautiful, too. And it lasts for weeks, really. And what an easy so. way to bring the spa home. I yeah. love it. Okay, so many people use essential oils, but you shared a great tip on how you can utilize them along with the eucalyptus and everything in the shower. Yes, right? absolutely. And I just kind of started doing this, and I can't believe how amazing it is. I just sprinkle a few drops on the shower floor, and again, that starts to heat up, and it's like a whole aromatherapy experience. All the different oils and just put them on the floor. I've never tried that. Great tip. Mm -hmm. I also like what you told me earlier about adding a furniture piece if you need more storage. Yes, yeah. A lot of people do, and it, it's another way of just bringing, kind of elevating your space. Mm -hmm. um, I bought a piece of furniture off of Craigslist and stripped it down and I now use it to display pretty perfumes and other storage things in, um, in the drawers. And we also, we talk about the oils, the eucalyptus, but also the scent of candles, right? Yes. Let's talk about how that helps add to it. Okay, it just creates such a great ambiance, right? It's just the low light, um, it's calming, and as a bonus, it smells delicious. Yes. Um, and I like to do that at night, just to kind of de-stress a little bit, spend five minutes even, just mm -hmm. while I'm getting ready for bed, and then maybe transition from here into my bedroom and listen to some soft music and some meditation music, and just relax. We, we know we need that these yes. days, right? She does a great job, as you can see here. Thank you, Thank you so much, Cami, and uh, I hope you can have a spa at home with all of these great tips. Thank yes. you, Cami. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, well, next Friday, refresh your home in the new year because we're going to share tips from the experts at Lazy Boy and find out what the color of the year is. More SA Live is on the way. Hey, folks, there's breaking news. We're going to send it to ABC. See you, much Today, about the time period, but I do want to put that time period in context. And the only way I could think to do so may be a little theatrical, but I think it's appropriate. I want us all get a concept of time. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit silently for one minute. 